Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we'll bring you the biggest entertainment and lifestyle stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Oshunke. Hello. Hello. You don't want me to finish your surname. <laughs> yeah. eh? know, well, have you changed your surname? I mean, well, no, I'm sure they used to the sound by to now, like they uh -huh. used to be, yeah. Sometimes you can just say Ife O, oh, they, they will complete it at all. What's your surname again? Oh, you know. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, my. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's cool. Anyway, so um, this first story is interesting because we had a bit of conversation on it behind the scenes and not today, but yeah. Meghan Markle allegedly is disappointed in Queen Elizabeth II for removing the success brand um, from her, I mean, taking away the brand from her. So according to Radar Online, Harry and Meghan planned to continue maintaining the brand name before the monarch released a statement in which she, she banned them from associating themselves with the word real mm. uh. okay so i i don't have much to say on this one because it's allegedly people mm. are saying they are contemplating although they're saying it's close source close source mm. close source I mean, they, did, they did make a statement on their website mm -hmm. um but it wasn't that she wrote that I am especially disappointed. Yeah. The internals, you know, the statement to says her. that she wasn't even planning on using it. That's what the statement actually. Well, they were not planning on using the name mm -hmm. because the issue is whether they can use their titles on soil and off, off soil. Mm. That's completely different from monetizing this title. Mm. So Queen Elizabeth is saying that you're, you're, you're married to a prince. He's, he's a child of a queen. That would never change. So they still have that title. Even though they were not planning on using it, they still have that. Well, where she wanted to actually use this title was in the money business. And then the queen is saying, no, darling, you, you want to be, you want to be grown. <laughs> Um, go, be, yeah, go be on your own. And she, I think she kind of, they all put, you know, their plans on that. And I, 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 can think, I think I can understand why she is more disappointed. No, why? The, the word more disappointed because Harry is still a prince and Harry still has his family. And mm. Harry is the one who is And that directly side too can plugged. be taken away from him. It can. So no matter who he marries or doesn't marry, that. if anything happens, you know. He's, he so why she? A, why I'm, I'm wanting to know why she's because content. she's not. She's a commoner who's why, married to somebody why, else. I still don't get it because if I know I get where you're coming oh, from, right, but I okay. still don't get it because why would you want to still enjoy being? Okay, so I was having a conversation with a fair behind the scene, and um, she gave a perfect example of exactly what's going on with Megan right now. Mm -hmm. It's more like all those rich kids that they'll be like, ah, oh, no, okay, you guys don't want to support my dream. I'm leaving home, and they still expect Maybe you to adult. support them. A little way. bit. Just yeah. a little bit, just to help us one way or another. But the queen is so strict right now that she's not even giving any support. Like, yeah. okay, you guys want to leave? Then leave yeah. everything behind and just go do your thing. Yeah. So, I think, <clears throat> so I think that's where um, Ife is coming from with the whole Megan thing saying that, okay, Harry is still a prince. Mm. So regardless, even if he can monetize it, yeah. his presence alone will yeah. is yeah. speaking for his, his royal and, and, regardless and also, but for, megan is a commoner for for, for the public i think we see this <laughs> you don't I like think... that word commoner do you <laughs> no, she, she, i mean uh, she's a commoner that's commoners, fine so. but i like that it's sinking in <laughs> I, um, I think for the viewers as well the public we think that there is this massive rift and they're not talking to each other mm -hmm. and that's why megan doesn't have the the audacity to ask for this but behind the scenes these people live together they're actually family mm. it's the business aspect that they're having issues mm -hmm. with so you can't also remove the fact that she's human she's probably had a relationship with this queen and laughed and she's like please we really want to do this and i know you don't want to support us but please um let us do this and then now she's nope. going on to say you can do choice. it but mm. so i don't think it's inhumane i get what you're saying but taking it taking away taking away all just, yeah, a little, just a little just bit. Just a little bit. Just a I little bit. He asked my question before I asked, but like, I, I don't think it's too strict. So it's just like you walking somewhere and you say, I'm not walking there anymore. But it's not a family. It's not a family. It's an institution. No, 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 it's not no, no, just no. a family. No, no, no. They, that's they, they, an that's institution. That's, 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 that's tied around that's blood. That's two, two different things. Tied around blood, yes. But how is this institution or this family being funded? Okay, it's like me saying, I don't want to walk somewhere anymore. Mm. But when I start walking somewhere else and I see where mm. you're fitting, I can still 
still do business together. Uh, when but when her case, mega sees where the queen will fit in, <laughs> they will do business but, together. But, but right now, please let everybody it's, mind it's, their husband. Remember that it's, it's family. Yeah, there's it's, not, there's I, I'm not taking with, it away. There's nothing wrong with the, did the queen. No, no, no. Saying, did the queen you know, say you are no longer? You father now that you know I'm I'm going to marry someone I don't want to marry or whatever. I don't want to marry someone. Blah, blah, blah. Megan, you, you are no longer my son's wife. Yeah. Well, you should sure. say that. that that's you understand? Exactly, like, yeah. I'm not going to come for that wedding. I'm but on that wedding day, he will still show different. up. He will still wear the Ashoy He will buy a code. I think, no. You people are just bringing small, small biscuits conversation <laughs> into this big <laughs> issue. But okay. I mean, like we but, said but, earlier. But like you said, it's, it's a big issue. It's yeah. huge. It's, and it's about royalty. No, she did not do anything wrong. And I'm talking about the queen. The queen's decision. On both sides, Megan and Harry has the right to surely they must. Even the incident said that Harry was a lot. I think maybe because Harry has obviously lived with the Queen more, but he didn't. It didn't seem like the decision that the Queen was made surprising. was a surprise. Yeah. And people him. tend to forget that Harry has always been the black sheep, so he's kind of like enjoying like this right now. Of this like he's enjoying like, all of this just right now. The, what's that? What, that's the one that is shake, and then you're the one that just spills it. And so it's pours. safe to he's say he's always wanted to leave. Is, is it safe to now say it's Megan that is getting him. disappointed because? Um, no, it's beginning to look like it's Harry that wanted to leave, exactly. as opposed to what exactly. people thought that exactly. it was Meghan that wanted to leave. Thank you. Yeah, so she wanted the royal home, right? It's well, we're right. not sure. Congratulations Don't quote to us. Them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're all speculating. Even the news itself is also they are all speculation. Yeah. So it's all good. So moving on or bringing it back home, Sheon Kuti lashes out at a lady who advised kids against becoming Malian. So it's not just about the advice, because when you see that headline. You'll, you'll be wondering why would he be lashing out on someone who's advising um, the children. But she gave an instance. I don't think we can play that video, right? Mm. But she said that um, she was trying to equate Fela um, with um, yeah, the like Malian movement. Fela and then she, the first of all, Malian and then India she days. went on to... Should I say tell a lie? <laughs> So oh. you guys know it's a lie. <laughs> okay, Let, it seems I'm I'm trying oh, to give a summary. That's a better oh, yeah. way of saying no, lie. No, it's a lie. No, it's but anyway, not she said. A lie. No, let me explain. Let me try to mm. paraphrase. So she said her two brothers mm. spent six years in jail for a fight that broke out in at the shrine. The shrine. The shrine yeah, yeah, the shrine. I mean, if you know fella, then you know the shrine and how you know all that. I don't think we need to go into that history. So she is blaming the fact that the two brothers went to the shrine and that was why, or they were adamant followers of Fela and that was why they ended up in jail. Now, because they ended up in prison in Nigeria, um, the father became poor because he had to sell two of his cars to get them out. And the mother, the mother sold, sold the her wrapper. Um, the mother did not survive or come back from the shock. Like if you see her mother now, she's... Older than she's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And this goes on. Yeah. And um, Big Bird Kuti has come to say um, Fela's name is just in everyone's mouth right now mm. That because um, how can you be saying that? You better see the truth and say that your brothers were armed robbers and don't say it's because they were... He said he grew up at the shrine and where is the Skirikiri issue? And why is he not in yeah. prison? Yeah, like it doesn't even have... I don't even think um, Femi has... Okay, Shion. I don't think Shion has any criminal record. I'm not sure. I'm just mm. saying I don't think he has any criminal record and he grew up there. But obviously, you cannot compare you a can't. commoner yeah. going to the shrine. Okay, yeah. so to, I get what you're saying. I get... You're trying to say that maybe it is true and... No, I, I know a lot of people that have been but, picked up at the shrine. Yeah. In I fact, know, just I understand in front being of the shrine. At the shrine. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. But this is Nigeria. Now, I'm looking at it from my own perspective. I'm not saying this is the correct perspective, mm. right? So this is my personal perspective. So you are picked up for... I mean, if you're picked up in front of the shrine, it's basically because they think you're probably smoking something, right? Mm. Or that you're constituting nuisance around um, the area. You shouldn't be walking around at a particular time mm -hmm. of the night and blah, blah, blah. That is not enough to keep someone in prison for six, six, years. For six years. And I, I know we're going to get to the point where you say there are people that are rotting away in jail and prison whereby um, they've not been tried and all that. But usually... These people don't have people that are going to sell cars mm. for them. True. So if you can sell a car, we're not talking about bicycle or kada. If you two can cars. sell two cars, you can afford a lawyer. Those rappers. <laughs> I, did, I wasn't meaning for that. I, I think I, you can obviously smell the blaming syndrome going on, and it's always natural for someone who's a victim. They always want to find a reason or someone to point the blame at. I feel like he, she had tro a troubled brother. 
I think with or without twin brothers. Twin brothers. Yeah, twin twin brothers. brothers. Mm. With or without Fela, something bad will probably happen. Mm. And <laughs> <laughs> I think there's okay. more to the story as to and Fela just a, it's just a means to an end. And there the, is more that they were conscious consciousizing with themselves to get themselves into that trouble. Um, the idea of also then attaching that to Mal to the Malian because I think she started with the Malian mm. and used Fela as an example. Mm -hmm. this, this that thing, they had. Um, Naira Mali I, of their day, which exactly. she called Fela. Mm. I think that that's very wrong. In itself, it's defamation. And if we mm -hmm. were in a different context, she wouldn't actually be able to say that statement outrightly and get away with it. If if Malian, if what's his name, Naira Mali was actually, you know, in the right mood to mm -hmm. fight that, um, you can't just go ahead and um, putting so much responsibility on someone if they haven't outrightly declared war, like. I'm a Malian. I'm the president of the Malians. Oh, he Malians has. gather around. Let's go and mess things up. Okay, and let's that. go and <laughs> let's go and you know do illegal things. Then you cannot associate what is happening with his name mm -hmm. to him. So that ideology in itself is bad. You have to just raise your kids right. Put the right head on their on their um, shoulders. Which is exactly what the Femi, um, Shon said. They don't need Malian to mess up. They don't need a fella to mess up. If they were going to, they would. They They're not just robbing. Another face under the real mask. So that's just what I think. Yeah, so I totally agree with what Shifa said. Like, and Femi, why do I keep calling him Femi? Shion also said it that look, parents should learn how to train their kids, right? Mm. That it, it doesn't matter who they um, want to follow or what movement it is, either Malians or it's Fela or whoever it is. If you don't train your kids, right, they would still fall in the. In the, in, the, in the wrong circle, right? So at the end of the day, it's up to parents and it's up to the kids to make the right decision. So, and he also said, um, he also said something about the more lawyers we produce, the worse our legal system becomes. The more doctors we produ produce, the more our medical system becomes. The more schools we produce, the what we have teaching because of teachers. this kind of because of this type speakers. of motivational and i thought we all agreed in 2020 not to listen to motivational speakers when you anymore. say we and all like, i it's mean like, it's, it's so it's so worrisome but so okay. we didn't you didn't you are you, you still down set down <laughs> it's time for a quick break aspire to aspire to pass but when we return the next segment will be filled with a fine level of delusion grandeur we'll be right back <laughs> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, what? Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. This is Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Young Sis reveals he will be attaining his billionaire status in a few years. In his tweet, he said, in a meeting with some moguls, they say my real estate um, investment will push my net worth and music to $10 million in a few years. I'm going to be disappointed if that's all it is after um, Trap Pro official album, honestly speaking. Okay. So one, he has an album coming through, I guess. And mm -hmm. then secondly, um, he has real estate investment, which is very commendable. You know what the first thing I thought about? It's like, it's just 17 um, responses, Mr. Billionaire. It's kind of weird. Like, he didn't even get that much. He doesn't actually have that much social media coverage. I was like, you're only talking to 17 people with Who's millions. That? Him. There's only 17 people that responded to that, um, that engaged with that post. Yeah. Usually a post like that will have oh. a lot of... Okay. You know, a lot of audience and things like that. So I was just wondering, like, okay, maybe your like, pro, your. I hope that your real life is more interesting than your <laughs> social media life. No, I hope because, your real estate is real. Yeah, first uh, of all, basically. like, I hope yeah. all that because your social media, from what we are seeing, it's not looking great. Like, you only had seventeen comments from that, so I'm not. I'm not sure your album is going to be able to push you to the millions if you're only getting that much social media interaction. But that was just me. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's an interesting type of flex. Mm -hmm. um, I, I hope that everything he's saying is legit because if it was for publicity stunts, like I said, it was only 17 um, interactions. There's no, there's no public in that. We're talking about it now. That's more. Okay, I hope, I hope people get on that as well. I don't know if you're going to <laughs> after this this discussion, you're going to go listen to the album because I won't. And His album it doesn't out. drop. It hasn't dropped. Okay. okay. Trap, All right. Trap, well, trap, bro. Yeah. Um, I'm just hoping that. Don't forget it. <sighs> And cop it. I'm hoping that this thing Garrett. is a legit Garrett. story. The because he, he already said now he's on 1.5. Yeah. Mm. Um, I'm hoping that that's does. actually real. I'm hoping that this real estate exists. I'm hoping that this meeting exists. And even if it does, I hope that they're actually giving him the right information because right they figures, could also yeah. just be selling each other dreams. Um, the only thing I don't like about this tweet is that it's too much of a jinx. Like, let it happen, first of all, mm -hmm. before you start to gas it. So um, he's worth $1.5 million and then his investment is supposed to bring yield him 10, 000, 10, 10, $10 million. million. So is he investing all the $1.5 million or is it still part of, I don't know. Because no, he's talking about a net worth. That's what I'm saying. I mean, if you're going to about, invest, yeah, you're investing about from he your current network, right? Already. And I know for sure, I know for for a fact that a lot of entertainers these days are all investing in of real course. estate. You understand? I, Most I thought you were going to say you know for a fact that young sis invested a certain amount. No, no, no. I'm talking about level. entertainers generally. Okay. I even saw David O advertising for a real estate company recently. I think I've seen Messi Johnson do that as well. A and lot of people. Yeah, so I know they are a lot. basically brand ambassadors. No, no, brand ambassadors. But I'm telling you for a fact that a lot of them are into real estate. Real estate. They're buying a properties. Lot. They're buying land. No, that's, buying... that's a wise, it's a yeah, wise it's move. A it's a wise move, obviously. So I know for a fact that they're all doing that. And Young Six, um, for one, okay, should I say this? Stays in a rented apartment. Mm. So um, I'm wondering why. He's landlord. <laughs> <laughs> I know where he stays. And unless, okay, well, you're allowed to buy the apartment. So maybe I'm, I may be wrong. So mm. yeah, so maybe he bought the apartment. So I may be wrong. But I know that, I know people that are renting apartments in that same place. Mm. Do you understand? So maybe he bought his apartment and all that. So Young Six, um, I like his, his dreams are valid because mm. he did not give you in two years. He said in a few mm. years. So it could be 10 years from now. It could be 10 is no longer few. I, I, dude, I just want <laughs> to speak I mean, English. Look, One, if, two, three, it's few. Yeah. After five is many. It's many. Okay, let's just say. If he's, okay, if maybe he's, say three he years. <laughs> maybe he meant to say apartment. many years. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he meant to say many years. Because like, if I, you don't even know if you want to believe this guy. <laughs> no. So if he stayed no. in a rented apartment, right? Right now, no, 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 I didn't I say said, that too. I also said if, okay. and he's worth $1.5 million. Mm. Do you think he's actually wise? Um, you know, some, some th sometimes, I think maybe, so. maybe, maybe he owns a house and is renting it out. Owning a mm. house, it's been proven, even if you talk to economists and things like that, it's only Nigeria that we're very keen on owning houses. Mm. Owning a house is not a business move like that. It's mm. not the most effective, mm. um, especially today where rent, um, there's been a, in, at least in that industry, there's been a spike of how expensive houses are. Even mm. if you remove inflation, things are, it's harder to buy a house now that it needs to, than it is what, like, or it was maybe. 10 years ago. So it's not always a, it's only in Nigeria I hear that thing of I need to buy my house and it's a thing to have your house. A lot of people in other places who have a lot of like good net worth don't own houses and there's nothing but, wrong with but that. But truth okay. is, truth is, I respect what he said and if he, he has investments in real estate, obviously in a few years, in three years with mm. good investments, of course okay. we can get up oh, to. Oh, we're talking okay, a lot let's, of money let's, though. Let's move on. $10 million. Let's, let's move on. Well, his dreams, he, his dreams are valid. A, a city, a town, his dreams a, are valid. You don't know how many acres of land. I don't understand both of you. I come from this angle. You people say, mm -mm, I come from... Let's just move on. We're all confused. He has confused I'm not us. confused. He's confusing you people and himself. <laughs> anyway, um, it's a shame that Del... Is it Deltans they call them, right? Deltans, yeah. Have no regard, no respect for their entertainers like Egos and Yorubas. Hashtag no love um, should be the reason why we don't come home. Respect and support your esports. And this is coming from Solid Star. I don't know what to say about this because um, I don't know why this whole tribe thing has come into the music scene all of a sudden and everybody's beginning to bring what tribe you are before you say you get respect and all that. Because Eriga too is on this table. Eriga would say that, oh, they're not showing him enough. No, but Eriga gets a lot of support by Deltons. Do you understand? A lot are of we Del bringing the confession back to this <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, no, but Eriga, Eriga, Eriga gets a lot of... Okay. Young Six is also a Delta and he still gets a lot uh, of support from I his think, people. I think so, I don't me, understand. So, yeah. 
I don't know. This I just tweet, don't want to do this whole tribe thing. This tweet mm. is not proper as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Because Delta is a state one. Igbo, when you talk about the Igbos, sometimes you can even classify Deltas. I mean, Deltans mm. as De Igbo. We even have Delta Igbo. So how many states do we have? Abia, like, we have about five, six, that can, you can really say they are Igbos. And sure. then Yoruba have the mm. same thing, right? And you're just singling out Deltans. So are you trying to say that they are not dashing you money? Or what do you mean by respect? Sometimes when people come out to talk about respect, I, I, I don't listen to that kind of conversation because I feel like respect is end. So if you have to come out to really talk about it, then maybe you are just expecting way too much from people who are also trying to hustle. maybe you don't hustle, even deserve the respect. Right? And then I had to go and check out um, other celebrities that are from Delta State. And yeah. pretty much I found some yeah. that have really rained. And I mean, music that is... really rained. Yeah, mm. nah, Like they, they were... I yeah, like yeah. I mean, like, Faze. Ever is still Faze. there. Faze, um, from two, um, from what's the name of the plantation, plantation boys. boys? Um, Faze alone, yeah, he's one of them. And Samsung, he's Samsung, Humble Smith, Humble um, Smith. Humble Smith is Eva Lodia, like you said, yeah. Raskimono of Blessed Memories, Orexi, yeah. Orexi is still there, mm -hmm. and then Dr. Seed. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are people from that part of the country that have done well for themselves and are still doing well for themselves. Yeah. And I don't think they've come out to tell you, I, I, he really needs to explain where he's coming from because yeah. when you talk about yeah, respect, I'm sure, had, I'm sure, I'm sure some, he must have a personal experience before we put out a tweet and, and, like this. What kind of respect does he really expect? Is it that he wants I to get believe to his this tweet is personal to him. him. It's not something that he really wanted us to even dwell on like that. That's ah. the way I see because it doesn't really make a lot of sense because ah. I'm not even in support of bringing the old tribe thing into the music thing to I, start I, 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 well, That's the only part I disagree in. Um, from my perspective, I think that the industry is definitely running on tribes if you sound yoruba your music is yoruba you blow more mm. and that isn't really because it's supposed to be like that there's a concentration of wealth in lagos lagos is a, is a yoruba state it's the yoruba. hub for entertainment it's the hub for a lot of things exactly uh, no but um, let's we're talking about entertainment well, now let's well, even I'm, talk what about i'm trying music. to say is that there's a concentration of wealth in nigeria that doesn't just have to be with entertainment i'm not i may not be in the entertainment industry but the wealth i'm getting from lagos is what's helping me spend mm. in the entertainment industry mm -hmm. But the wealth still is concentrated in Lagos that is Yoruba driven. So you have to understand that as a musician as well. Is that saying that if you don't speak Yoruba in your music or don't sound, give Yoruba music, you won't blow? Absolutely not. But it is a strong reality. I remember when I wasn't living here, all the music that finally got to the clubs abroad, 99% of them are Yoruba sounding music. That's how I used to keep my Yoruba flowing. How bad like so, that? So um, I think that's a reality. So I understand where he's coming from in that sense. But then to start blaming states is a bit myopic because, first of all, you have to think, do, 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 do Deltans like, actually like your music? Mm -hmm. I like you, the they, way It doesn't mean that they're not actually supporting it. Maybe they actually just don't like your music. Um, because you don't need Deltans to succeed. You, anyone can... can I like the way LC broke it down, though. Like, if you're talking about Igbos, do you know how many states will call that Igbo states? If you're talking about Yoruba, do you know how many states will call? So saying Delta alone, it's not even enough to be the yardstick for you to be saying, that's my respect. Do you understand? Because I don't hear Olamide. Where's Olamide from? I don't know. But let's assume it's from Ogun State. I don't hear Olamide saying that. I don't he get messed up when he said when he said the state because... Do like, you I, understand? The, he, but he, you, you... I don't know him. So it's even hard for me to even, like... What's that? He's very popular song. If you give us, you are like our library ah, for wait things now. like this. Baby, you had a catchy code. Was it Star. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Soli Star featuring Flavor and uh, Tua Savage. Was it was the it one that? featuring them? Yeah, was I think so. Was it a Flavor song? Are you sure? Okay. I'm not sure. I think um, it's a This is thing. quite I sad. Think... <laughs> Thank God. None of us are from Delta States. So you cannot hold us accountable. And that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this conversation all over again by visiting our YouTube channel, Aplus TV Africa. Also, do remember to subscribe. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors. No, amazing. If you're all my and if you're all you can yeah. And the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa Sea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Do enjoy the rest of the day.